Hi, welcome to this video. I would like to show you in this video how to program the BioLink Gateway and set it up for the very first time when you receive it out of the box. To begin with, the difference between the MasterLink Gateway and the BioLink Gateway is that the BioLink Gateway comes out with DHCP from factory. So you have to go to your router or use an IP scanner to find the, the IP address of the BioLink Gateway or you'll be able to use the app available on the App Store called Bio Setup, and then from there you can actually find the BioLink Gateway and set the IP address from there. So this is the start screen when you navigate to the IP address of the gateway. You can fill out uh, the project name. So for this one I'll just call it BioLink Gateway Training. Uh, the same for this one. This would normally be the name of the customer, the name of the house. The installer name is your contact details. Um, they will show up in the in the BioLink app in case the, the customer needs to reach you. In the next tab, the setup tab, is where you set up the date and time. If the gateway is connected to the internet, you can use this. If you don't have an internet connection or an unreliable one, you could set up the, the time and date manually from here. You'll have the location-based events and astronomical clock settings. So for the latitude and longitude, you can enter it here, and then the gateway has a built-in astronomical clock, so you can use um, sunset and sunrise events to trigger events to happen on the system. So the way to easily do that is by using Google Maps. So what I normally do is I go to maps.google.com. So this is the facilities of our factory. I'll just use this for the sake of the matter. It is here. I can right click and I can say what is here. Then I'll get a little information up here and I can copy this. This is the GPS location of this place that I am at. Copy it in here. I'll take the second part and put it down in the longitude. And I can use sunset and sunrise events here you'll set up the network connection, so in case you want to continue using DHCP you can do that, or you can set a fixed IP address from here. And you can give it a new host name as well if, if that is required. If you have, for example, several built-in gateways on the same network, you can give it a name to identify which one is what. Um, other than that, the next one is integration protocols. Uh, the home integration protocol is the one spoken with the app. So that has to be enabled and it is enabled by default. Uh, the MasterLink Gateway protocol is for backwards compatibility with the MasterLink system. You can use the MasterLink Gateway protocol drivers available on our integration page, beerintegration.com. Uh, and you can speak that to the, to the MasterLink products. If you need to use a system that only runs on RS-232 or RS-485, you can use an USB to RS-232 converter and plug it into the gateway. You can find the part number available uh, from any Bang & Olsen retailer. Uh, they have this recommended USB to RS-232 uh, adapter that we use as well for our service tool that you can just plug and play into the gateway and then you'll have an RS-232 port available. When you, once you plug it in it shows up here on the drop down list and you can set up the, the, the bit rate as here as well. The next one is the units. This is the default unit for temperature if you wish to use Celsius or Fahrenheit. Next step is the zones. This is where I add which room I have in the house. 
I've already added three, but it is as simple as just pressing plus here to add another room of the house. I will name it and I will call it uh, master bedroom. It is in this area, the main area. You can add several areas as well by pressing here, adding a new area. So that is, for example, if you want to split up your house into several um, zones, maybe you have a main house or a guest house, or maybe it makes sense to split it into the first floor and the ground floor. It is only for your um, convenience and uh, getting an overview. For example, if you have a lot of zones, then it makes sense to put it into different areas. I can also choose an icon which will show up on the TV screens uh, on the home control menus as well as in the app. So this is the master bedroom, so I'll choose the suite uh, as the icon. Okay. okay, so this was the first time set up off the building gateway. Now you are ready to add the resources of your system, which would be the Bang & Olsen products as well as the home automation products that you have in the project.